Oh, wow. See, that just popped off. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to a little, uh, little vintage cubles. Vintage cubles with your rubles. Do we just lure us first pick and then build around that little rascal? See, it's young bird knows what's up. Yeah, I think we're just taking this lurry, a little lurry McGurry. Are you feeling better than those drafts earlier in the day? I'm trying to, I'm trying to wash those away. Is what we're trying to do. Yeah, let's try this Luris, and then we'll take only permanence. Mind twist is a good one, and I don't need to not play it. What does that mean? I don't know. Yeah, just gonna take this mind twisto, McWisto. Seems good. I'm okay with it. It's a bad kitty. They banned it. Man, this young bird's going crazy. <laughs> Super Fest, please. There are children in the chat. He's a young bird. Alright, well, we're in it to win it. We're in the end game now. Oh, I like a Baleful Strix. Man, I gotta pass an Othari because of this stupid little cat. Oh, uh, I like Baleful Strix. Pretty good with Luris. Super Fritz, please explain the sad sandwich pick. To its young bird. <laughs> I'm going to take... Oh, uh, shoot. Oh, uh, shoot. Could also be Snuff Out. Snuff Out's good, too. Get the Wild and the Cattle for the cat deck. Yeah, that'll do. It's one of these two, for sure, in my brain. My brain says to take one of these guys. Like, I like Baleful because we can recast it with Luris, and you cannot do that with Bloodstained Mire. This, oh, good, Underground Sea. That's pretty sweet. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm just going to take the Underground here. I think it's... Stoneforge isn't great when you can only take cards that cost two or less. Don't care about any of these. Yeah, I'm just taking the Underground. Probably going to take Valk here. Valk seems good. And again, nothing in this pack is real. I'd rather take a Valk than a Preordain at this point. Okay, Blood Crypt. Well, <laughs> or we can take Tarpit. I think Tarpit might be better here. But this is really good Grixis mana, and I'm pretty okay with it. Does Ashen Rider go in the cat deck? Because he's riding a cat, is that why? Fascinating. On a magic carpet ride, you don't know what the we can find. I worked at Subway for a long time. This is the this is the pick story. Uh, and during that time, the untoasted pepper jack meatball sub with extra mayo became the one true sandwich by being the most disgusting sandwich I had to consistently make. <laughs> Actually, Ledger Shredder seems great in this deck, right? This is a Ledger Shredder deck for sure. What if Leyline Binding only costs like two? Does that count? It doesn't. Oh man, I'd love to take a Gix here to be quite honest. Shit. I guess it's just Tenacious. It's either Tenacious or Godless Shrine, but I kind of like Tenacious here. Uh, it could be Godless Shrine, though. We can get a Godless Shrine with a Bloodstain Mire. All right, it'll keep us open. I took the Godless Shrine because it keeps us open. And I don't really want to limit the number of cards we can get. When we have to get only... Let's take Mother of Runes.
being able to go lure us into we can be Esper and then just splash off of splash red off Volcanic Island. Or Volcanic Island could just be a blue source for Bloodstained Mire. Unlike Underground Sea, which is also a blue source. Yeah, these are all very good lands too. The three lands to search for and one creature land. Portable hole is okay. All right. Oh, Sea Chrome Coast? Yeah, okay. Snap also pretty good. I think we're going to lean into the Esper and take the Sea Chrome Coast. I feel like the more lands we can get now, the less lands, the fewer lands, the less lands, lots of fewer, fewer lands we need later. Uh, this is fine. Death lets us just cast Lurus from the graveyard if he dies. Oh, can't take any of these. I'll take Guardian Scale Lord. Yeah, sure. Oh, that guy's playable. All right, well, Marsh Flats seems very good. Can't take Hull Breacher. I mean, you can take him. It's not like a stipulation, but I guess we're just taking Marsh Flats. Yeah, Marsh Flats gets everything, right? Underground... Well, it gets Underground and Godless Shrine. Yeah, we'll just take Marsh Flats. I'm taking, oh, Mana Crypt? For sure, I'll take a Mana Crypt. Will I take a Mana Crypt? It's gotta be Mana Crypt, but on the same hand, like, nothing we play costs more than two. Uh, like, I guess our spells do. If Currency Converter or Animate Dead come back, that would be fantastic, but I'm just taking Mana Crypt here. I'm getting so many Esper lands, I don't understand what's going on. But, like, not a ton of cards to play. Wandering Emperor, Flesh Gorger, Graveyard Trespasser, Grave Titan. Like, I can't play any of those. <laughs> so it's kind of a really awkward. I guess we'll just take Colonnade. Like, I'm almost feeling like we're compromising on our deck by playing this Luris. Because we literally have, like, six playables right now. <laughs> Like, is our deck going to be better because of Luris? I don't think so. I think we just want a good card here. I agree. I feel like Luris is really holding us back because we're just not we're just not hitting the cards. Like, we can easily play Scale Lord. I think I want Flesh Gorger here. Like, it's good on three and it's good on... Wow, now the sunken ruins. It's good on three and it's good on seven. It's good to reanimate. It does a lot of things. S True name nemesis is great. Baleful mastery is great. I think we're just taking the true name here. This is this pack has a ton of things that could come back. If baleful mastery or sunken ruins come back, I'd love it. Here's a subtlety. Here's an Atali. Also a good old Urborg, which is interesting. I mean, you just being able to cast Luris and then play something from your graveyard is still fine. I think it's subtlety here. Three, four, five. We have six blue sources. Yeah, just take subtlety. Um. Coligon's Command is good, but we only have, like, Bloodstained Mire and Volcanic Island right now. <sighs> Staff of the Storyteller is pretty, pretty decent. I'm actually a big fan of Staff. I don't think we have a ton of creatures right now, a ton of, a ton of tokens right now, but we can get there. Kaito makes tokens. Okay. Also, like, I feel like the, the, the Luris deck just can't take advantage of a Mana Crypt very well, which is... Not ideal. A subletty, which is when you rent an apartment to someone else that you are currently renting. Wow, that's that is profound. Is it just concealing curtains here? Possibly. Sure. 
I'm trying to steer clear of red. Like, I don't really want to splash for a fourth color, even though our mana is looking quite juicy. <laughs> Nothing great here. Seal of removal is fine. Yeah. I mean, again, like, I, I still still taking cards that, that go well with Luris are, is still pretty decent. Dark Slick Shores. Tide Hollow Sculler? I don't hate Tide Hollow Sculler. Oh, Graveyard Trespasser coming back is pretty nice. Okay. This is like a two drop. Ones, twos, three, four, five. Put you in the three slot, and then we got a little twisterino. Yeah, this seems better. If we get lingering souls, I might just play Yogmoth here. Eight lands is pretty good. Oh, Baleful Master coming back is fantastic. Love it. Someone's getting a really late. <laughs> Uh, through the breach. Unlicensed Hurst. Hurst. <laughs> Hurst. Expressive Iteration's good. I might even play this, depending on if we get more... Wow, Concealed Courier coming back as last pick. That seems playable and good. All right. Well, not an ideal pack. Is it just the Raven Inspector? First pick the Raven Inspector is very sad. Actually, I could see taking Spell Pierce as well. Spell Pierce is a good Gotham. Aspirant's not terrible. Yeah, I don't hate Aspirant. Is it first pickable? I don't know. Is any is this pack very good? Not really. All right, we'll take an Aspirant. Swords to Plowshares, however, is very good. That is a solid removal spell. Yeah, I'm okay with that. There's a ton of cards that can come back here as well. Mentor, Lorien Revealed, Lose Focus. Dark Ritual, just like Super Fritz mentioned. Uh, turn one Trespasser, turn one Flesh Gorger. Turn two Curtains Flip. Yeah, Dark Ritual is pretty good here. God, do I just take Archon of Cruelty? <laughs> what do you do, Archon of Cruelty? I mean, I can cast you off Mana Crypt and Dark Ritual. <sighs> Bump that twist? You can bump that twist, that's true. Do I have, how many discard outlets do I have? Ledger Shredder, kind of. Kaito. I mean, alternatively, we just take him to Torok. Or we take Dak Faden and play it off the Volcanic Island and the Bloodstained Mire. This is actually a pretty tough pick. I think we're just taking the DAC. Oh, Teferi. Oh boy. Both of these go very well with Guardian Scale Lord as well. Also Counterspell, but I feel like we're playing our cards. There was also an Oko in that pack, don't... Just to be clear. Um, I think we just take Odawara here. I don't care about Porcelain Legionnaire, really. Having these three, three mana Planeswalkers is pretty sweet. There's a sneak attack. We might just take sneak attack. Uh, Odoar is probably better, right? It's just a land that you can... Fire Covenant is nuts. Tinker is very good, but we're not a Tinker deck. Exhum is interesting. 
This is a this is also like Tinker, Exhum, Fire Covenant, Sheldock, and Palantir are all in here. I think we just take the Fire Covenant because it's really good. We're not a Tinker deck. We don't have enough big cards. Uh, Porcelain Legionnaire is, is just a fine guy. Recurring Nightmare. And a Time Spiral. That is a late Time Spiral. We have no card drawing prohibitive cards here. What is Snaff good with? Snaff is good with Kaito. He's good with... It's like our only token generation, unfortunately. I don't think we're a damnation deck. I don't feel like we're that controlling. Maybe, maybe it's just to have it. We already have Fire Covenant. I feel like that's good. We'll take Time Spiral. What the hell? I don't. I don't think it's. I don't think we're gonna play it. But Merktide Region actually seems pretty decent here. Basically, nothing came back from this pack, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, this guy's like a four, maybe. Black Cleave Cliffs, I guess, is fine. Let's, let's cast Expressive Iteration and Dak Faden and Fire Covenant easier, sure. Yep, Fairy Mastermind is good. Um, how are we on removal? One, two, three. Uh, actually, Fairy's fine. Beseech and Dam. Dam is actually really good because we can play it in the main, but it's also a sweeper if we want it to be. So that's good. None of these are exciting. I'll just take the Titan. Take this guy. All right, well. <laughs> we ended up getting a lot of cards. We need, to, like, four cuts here, I think. It does feel like we open packs in the reverse order. This is very strange. I don't know if we main Fire Covenant. It's pretty good. I don't think we main expressive because we have already two red cards. 10 lands and a mana crypt. This is 26. I don't think portable hole is good enough. I do like dam as a two mana removal spell or a four mana sweeper. I think that's pretty good. Life death is two mana. Everything here is pretty good. This is 25. We still need two cuts. I think Staff of the Storyteller can be cut. We actually have no token generation other than Kaito. So this is like just literally 1-1 one, one draw card for two. It's not the best. Probably want to cut a three drop, but I don't. Tempted to cut Fire Covenant and just board it in if we need it. Like we have a lot of removal and it's also a splash. I think that's probably correct. So now I have one deck. Um, these three cancel each other out because they're two white, two black, two blue. This is a black card. Okay. Mm, this is a black card as well for the most part. Okay, so black sources, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is nine. Blue, we have one, two, three, four. Marsh Flats gets underground, right? Yes, yeah, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine. So nine, nine. White, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. And like red, we have like four sources, I think. Three sources. Just three. One, two, three. Just volcanic, bloodstained, and black cleave for just Dak. 
Mm, that seems okay. I do not think we want to play a forest in case Dak steals a Golos. We can board that in. Oh, what up, Chorwit? I think we just want one more black because double black, double black. Actually, how many white cards is this? We might just want another white, actually. There's only six white sources, right? One, two, three, four, five, seven. Yeah, let's go to seven. This is seven, nine, nine. I don't like having two planes, but this feels good. All right. Let's sort by mana value. This guy can go here. This guy can go here. And we'll screenshot it just so we know what we got. Fire Covenant might come in a lot. Yeah, I, I think it definitely is an option. I always have a plate of shit for them, mate. <laughs> Good grief. So aggressive. The magic combat ride. You don't know what we can find. Let the song take you away. Yeah, this is fine. Any white source, we're good. Any black source, we're good. I made some pizza tonight, and that's what I had for dinner. Uh, I do not have an oven. I just use my home oven and a pizza steel, and I just preheat it to 500. White source. Dak Faden. A pizza steel is like a pizza stone, but it cooks more evenly, and it gives you a better char underneath. It's just a big steel cooking surface. White source. Blue source. Okie dokie. Well, we do need a white, a black, or a blue, or a red. Any land here. Eight egos with ketchup. Delicious. A Dairy Queen Banana Split actually sounds pretty good. Nettle cyst, nettle cyst, that's a good land for us to hit. Gotta be Gala Shrine here, right? Doesn't give us a second blue. Does give us a second. Gala Shrine gives us access to Luminarch, Tide Hollow, and Flesh Gorger. Underground gives us access to Flesh Gorger, True Name. It also could just be true name here. Hungry Howie's is totally fine pizza. True Nami. <laughs> yeah, True Nami's good. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, we're just going to cast true name here. Ok, 
Because even if we don't, if we don't play anything else next turn, we can activate this guy or... Interesting. So if we go to transform this, they flip it, right? Save the true Nami for your mommy. Are they just going to counter this? Sure. That's pretty good. Because now they can just bounce this guy and we take six. I don't think this guy's going to do it for us, unfortunately. So it, it does just a hard counter spell for them this turn. It's not very subtle, was it? Interesting. Just cracking their fiery island, huh? All right, and Yep. No, oh, that's not great. Ah. <sighs> Four mana for that ability. That's insane. I think we're just going to hold back here. <sighs> Palantir, huh? That's pretty good. If only we can hit one of those red sources, wouldn't that be cool? Oh, interesting. Sure. We took one. Sounds good. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> That's the ticket. Um, we're going to hold back because... They have two attackers and we have two blockers. Um, I want both of these. Put this on top and then put Kaito on top of that. So if you don't give me the Kaito, you will give me Bloodstained Mire, which is fine. Oh, no, because it has two counters on it, so we get neither, actually. So that's about the same as it just going to the bottom of the library, I guess. Sure. I think they're going to bounce curtains here and attack with both. Oh, sure. What? Interesting. Doesn't have trample. What does that do? What does that even do? Oh, that's good in the future.
Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, well... One, two, three black, one, two, three, four blue. So we'll get rid of C chrome and probably aspirant. I mean, I'm just, they're just waiting for this to do it. So we're just gonna do this now so we can replay it, which is fine. Yep. And then we'll just kill Jace because he deserves it. Dark Ritual and Regent. I don't think I want this. I will take this guy if you want to take seven. Fantastic. He took five, he took eight. Great. <laughs> eight when I have true name and creeping tarpet on the board. Sounds good. Totally fair. Fair and reasonable magic. This is okay. They went to six. Okie dokie. Lots of colors. No red yet, though. You got it. Oof, look at that. Beautiful. Look at that guy. Beautiful. The ward too is kind of obnoxious. Sure. Merktide region is super fine. I mean, this is like a 4-4 or a 5-5 flyer for two mana a lot of times. Like, delving delving five is not an issue. I mean, we have this guy going to the graveyard, this guy going to the graveyard. Uh, sure. Feels like they really tanked on attacking for quite a bit there. Oh, it's your boy. Two, three, name you. Man, I feel like Blood Crypt would have really tied the, the deck together though. What is this? Astral Dragon, okay. Just naming Thran Dynamos. Yep, sounds good. It's a lot of Thran Dynamos. They have one card in hand. We have two bounce effects. So we're gonna do this, crack this guy. Probably just get a swamp here. We already have two white. I'd rather not take the damage and our plan is to Odawara one of these tokens. So we'll take like seven. Then we can Teferi bounce the other one. I 
guess there's really no incentive not to do it now, right? Because it just gives them more mana on their turn. <sighs> Astral Dragon, huh? I felt like this hand was very good. Switching over. Yeah, just go to nine. That is a red source. Oh, I like a sculler. I think we're just passing here. Can't Regent, can't Sculler, I don't think. Actually, we can get Godless Shrine. I don't want to take that much damage, though. I don't want to go to six here. Does it make a difference? Hard to say. Who is that? Let's get Volcanic. I don't think we have to play Sculler here. I'm, I'm okay with that. They're going to crack their fiery eyelet. Yeah, crack that eyelet. Teferi, huh? No, us? Yeah, I'll just take four if you're going to go my face. If you're going to let Tef big Tefs live, that's totally fine with me. Eight mana, huh? Just a big ever-flowing chalice? That seems fine. Something good. Some kind of removal for this guy. One time. That ain't it. We got a couple blockers here. We can double block this guy. <clears throat> so, blue, blue, we can sculler here. Take a gander. Hit that preordain. Play a planes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Get a 3-3. Three, three. And we can... I'll double block if I really need to, because I think this is actually fine. I mean, there's there's instant sorcerers in the deck, but not in our hand currently, as you can ascertain. All of your mana, and you have nothing to threaten me with. No, it was just three lands, two fetches, and an Odoara in the graveyard, but I feel like we stabilized a little bit. They get a, they get one they get a draw off the top. To go with their to go with their island. Seems like an easy block. I would rather not die. <clears throat> Did they play an island? They sure did. Do we think they drew a subtlety? I 
I guess we'll find out. One, two, three. Mm, okay. <laughs> they did not. Do we, do we play a land? Great. Great. So next turn we can do three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and we can bounce whatever they play. Seems good. All right. <laughs> that was that was a satisfying match. Super Fritz, go sleep. You don't need chicken McNuggets or chicken nuggets. Shut no. up and take my money. Oh, we just recently got this Palantir from a little old lady in Gondor. Barely looked in it. Guaranteed to only have minor Nazgul on the other end. No Dark Lords or Ancient Evils. <laughs> Slabs Palantir. <laughs> okay, hold on. I have to go see what this said. Oh, uh, I'm going to keep this. Any black source and we're good. We also have true name mana, so. Let's go here. That was tipped by Mad Eddie use Mad Eddie's use Palantir, and <laughs> slabs Palantir. Let me wrap this baby up for you. <laughs> oh shit! It was so worth it. It was so worth finding that last line. Let me wrap this baby up for you. What a what an early '90s salesman. That's beautiful. Come on, swamp. That's a that's a good one, man. <sighs> Would have been better last turn, but I think playing something this turn is kind of important. Only got certified pre on Palantir, so the warranty doesn't transfer. <laughs> so, I think we just Flesh Gorger here. I mean, we play around days. They can't miscalc it. They can't force of negation it. They can't daze it. So this guy gets in better than this guy. I am also annoyed. Oh, wow. Did they? No. Oh, okay. They just played our work. So that's good. That's good for us. I keep getting calls about my Palantir's extended warranty. Well, have you looked into it? Unbelievable. Don't daze me, bro. Why do I feel like there's a daze here? A force of will? There's a force of will coming. They're deciding what card to pitch for my true name. That's sad. There it is. Yep, knew it. If only we could have transferred this one Dark Ritual mana. If only True Name cost two instead of three. If only. Well, they're a little behind. If we hit a White Source, Tefri is looking pretty juicy. This guy just races, man. 3-3 three, three with Menace and Lifeling, and if they want to kill it, they have to pay its, its power and life. He's just doing the deed, man. You got it. Oh, I like that guy. Well, I'll play a land. Let's get rid of Ponder. We can play around days. I don't really feel like having you do the thing, you know? Let's 
we still have life death, so I don't want to be exiling true name nemesis just yet. I'd rather, you know, reanimate that guy if I have the, the capabilities. Uh, no blocks. Oh, they're fallen shinobiing us. Okay. Well, no whammies. Two lands. Fantastic. I could have used one of the white lands, but them hitting two lands off of us is pretty epic. Uh, one, two, three. Play this Lurus. Let's play it with the correct mana. <laughs> so what do they take fort they take let's get rid of their days probably just blocking with Luris like You have to remember that Palantir insurance only covers the Palantir and not your mind after it's corrupted by unspeakable evil. That it that does feel re that does feel relevant to the policy. Oh, wow. Well, they whiff on hand. Sure. You got it. Hope you whiff again. Land and dam. Sure. Both of these have ward costs, which is nice. Sure, you take three. Great. Well, that's not very good, is it? Gorger did some work, but it did not do enough work. So now we're just going to let this guy flip and I guess try to trade with the Shinobi. That seems fine. Are we going to echo of eons? And give me the first crack at it? That seems good. I wouldn't mind that. Merktide's interesting. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. One, two, three, four. 
dark ritual. Oh god, if they reanimate that guy, it's gonna be a bloodbath. What's going on with my keyboard? Fascinating. Yeah, I mean, they didn't put Torsten under here, which they could have very easily, and then also activate at the same turn. Necromancy seems good. Well, don't like that. So they hit Atraxa. They don't get Sahili. They get Swamp. Island Urtai. Okay. That's pretty good. There's Island. Tails never fails. It failed. Ledger Shredder. <laughs> oh boy. It's enough to make you wish you kept the Mana Crypt in hand, you know? No white sources is pretty rough. Would love to bounce one of these guys and attack for five. That would be great. They also hit two of our white sources off of Fallen Shinobi, so that's a bummer. Discard a Traxa. Yep, sounds good. Frantic search. They hit with Torsten, I might just take it. Probably always put the cards under there, right? Can't see a reason not to. Yeah, I'll just take seven here, go to five. It's risky, but, like, I don't see a course of victory where we lose one of our flyers. Plus, if they want to play a second spell, they're going to have to uh, trigger the Shredder, which they did not. Heads. Lost again. Okay. Well, that, that'll do it. Great. I kind of like Portable Hole for Baleful Strix. Unlicensed Hearst and Portable Hole can come in. We'll take it. Actually, I don't even know if we should be playing Mother of Runes, to be quite honest. I'm going to add one more white source for a black source. Like, Mother of Runes seems worse now that we're not playing. A 
apparently Snatch is banned on Moto. <laughs> That's pretty funny. I mean, that's just a real word. This is a keeper. That's a turn one flesh gorger. Turn two curtains and activate if we draw an untapped black source. Oh no! Actually, it's not because it's double black. I'm so bad at this game. We could have played Tar Pit instead. I guess we'll play this guy. We shouldn't have played this, but. Ah, that's frustrating. I forgot this was double black. For some reason, I was like, oh, it's just a three mana. It's just a three mana worm guy. It's a good ponder. They're really taking their taking their time. They chose not to shuffle. Oh boy. That's interesting. Lost the flip. Didn't even get anything to show for it. Sad. Mega misplay. Uh, what are they, discard? I guess they're just going to go Urborg into Echo, right? Yeah, we'll just take that guy, play Tar Pit. Get in there for thrice. Hmm. Tomorrow I'm making glizzies. <laughs> Got all of looking at chat and just seeing, just seeing the glizzies. Dothy V Walker. Okay. So, you know what? We'll have Baleful Strix and you played Urborg. So, we know these four and then whatever you drew. Are they tempted to Lion's Eye right now? Because their hand doesn't do anything. I wouldn't be surprised. Like, Atraxa does nothing. And now you have to Lion's Eye. Right? There it is. There we go. All right. Looking good. Good. 
What do we have? One, two, three, four. We have five mana. We need double black. Dark ritual. So triple black. Get the lion's eye back. Tails. I lost every flip. Come on, man. Come on. Um, white seems better here. We can also play Odawara to play a lot of things. Like we can go Dark Ritual for three. Damn this guy. Kaito off of a blue and a colorless and then Fairy Mastermind as well. That seems pretty good. Okay. Um, out of blue. This guy. Kurt, have a good night, buddy. Force of negation. Okay. And then we'll just play this guy. All right. Necromancy on Dothy Voidwalker. Okay. You got it. I mean, this is eight damage, which is, feels pretty good. Oh, in response, they're cracking and getting Torsten back. Sure. Well, what do you get? Swamp, Swamp, you got two swamps. <laughs> Feels good. All right. Satisfied on the swamps. Don't lose. Yes, that's all I needed. I'm pretty sure we just attack with this guy and call it a day. I'm going to play the Cliffs because we have a white source if we need it, but if we draw, like, Dak. Put him at four. Getting aggressive. Oh, okay, we just win. Great. That moment when your opponent has two swamps and nothing else. It's good times. Did you order the nugs? Oh man, you you gave in. That's funny. Immediately. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, the weakness.
Oh, uh, yeah. All right. This is fine. Got all the colors. Would love a dark ritual or a uh, the other one. Mana Crypt. Cliffies. Okay. Cliff Clavens. I'll take a two drop as well. You know, I'm not picky. That's neither of the things that I asked for, but all right. Get your loot on. Do your little lootsies. Put that Atraxa in the graveyard. So that you can reanimate her next turn. And the game can end very quickly. Just an island. All right. Satisfying. Frantic search. Discard. Atraxa. <laughs> oh, Zelly with the Anthony Fantano. I forgot that was even a I forgot that was even an emote. Alright, there's the Torsten. Oh, what's up, Grandma? Big Grams. Do we think they have days? Probably. <laughs> Big Grams. Oh, God. Baleful Misastery. Hmm. I think we're just playing the big gorge. They're going to counter it. It's fine. Whatever. <sighs> Not trying any of our... Well, it resolved. Not trying any of our mini two drops is a little bit sad. Here he goes. Look at all these tokens they're making. gonna pop this out because I presume they're gonna reanimate Torsten for the third time in three matches Well, they got some big decisions to make, apparently. Chase the Nugman is driving a Toyota Corolla. I don't think that's how you spell Corolla, though. Our opponent apparently has big decisions to make here. Okay, Brutality choosing Neg2, Neg2. What? No. Okay, they chose Baleful Mastery. Okay, they just choose the one mode. 
Interesting. I do feel like if you're able to daze this guy, you probably do, so. Big Merkelsons. I mean, I don't really want to trade with these idiots. I think we just slam this guy since we probably can. All right. Old Regi. No, Nemi. <laughs> yeah, I want to hold back. Like, they can double block here, and that doesn't feel great. They could also block and then Thank you. sack the servo to make a thopter, which they'll probably do now. Yep, yeah, there you go. Rar, thank you for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate you, my dude. Well, they have three cards in hand. I feel like if they had Necromance, they would have just picked up the Torsten, right? Okay. Superfruits, are you one of those people that only eats one section first? Like you'll eat all your fries, then you'll eat all your nugs? Michael used to be like that, and then he stopped. I think he realized the, the error of his ways. Yeah, it's so weird to me. Because like sometimes I'll have a chicken nugget, and then I'm like, man, I want some fries. And then I'm like, oh, now I'm go back to the chicken nuggets now, you know? Like, Oh, is this just going to be a fallen? No, it's not a fallen shinobi. Okay, that was great for us. See, this is a situation where a fire covenant would be fantastic. But it was not meant to be. Hmm. Fascinating. Well. Nice. Um, hmm. They're going to phase out. One one ninja can't be blocked, which is kind of cool. Let's just start cruising for bruisins. Cruisins for bruisins. Oh, that's fine. I think that was actually ill-advised, right? Because now you have to block with two creatures, probably these two. Hmm. Oh, you don't have death touch though. That's a bummer. Why don't you have death touch? That feels really weird. What's it going to be? 2-2 two, two, or the one with death? Yeah, that's probably a better choice. Let's draw a card. That's going to be good eventually. Phase out, my good man. They're brainstorming themselves? Yes. Okay. Well, 
Well, if we can untap, I feel okay about our chances here. They did not hit Echo, and they did mill a Necromancy. So I think they're still looking for things. There's an Atraxa. Shallow Grave the Atraxa. Okay, well, that is good. So we're taking 7, 8, 9, 12, 12, go to 8. It's not great. They also have a Kaito and a Sahili. What did they... They kept Voidwalker, Urborg, Life Death, and Sahili. So Urborg, Life Death. Okay. They also have three minutes on the clock. <laughs> All right. I'm tempted to block here. The fact that the attracts is going away is Probably reason to not. <sighs> hmm. Yes, I see. <sighs> well, two, three, four, five. Can play this. Can't play Regent and Swords and Flip, I guess. Marsh Flats. Do I want to go to seven? Probably not. I mean, we can swords this guy. I think we're attacking here. I think we just bounce this guy and then we just have good blocks. Could also crack this and then we have one, two, three, one, two. Oh, uh, actually that's not bad. Let's get just a regular planes, right? Blue, blue. Yeah, that seems fine. One, two, three. Voidwalker is probably better than Sahili at this point. All right, I don't think we attack here because we're at seven. True name blocks construct, I blocks mirror token, we take four. Voidwalker's gone. They didn't play Urborg or Sahili, so we know they have these two and whatever they drew. Sure, Sahili. Okay, going to combat's not bad. Okay, great. Live in the dream. We have no graveyard, however. <laughs> um, yeah, sure. We can pitch that guy. One, two, three, four, five. Play big scales. Get 
give the counter a true name. And then just attack with true name here. What is the, the trigger is whenever this attacks? Yeah, great, okay. So now if they want to activate currency converter, it doesn't do anything because it's not going to be the second card. So ignore that. And I wanted to put Sahili down to one because I don't want them to actually be able to uh, make a copy of like one of their artifacts. So Well, this is this is a situation. Yes, <laughs> give me a card. Fabulous. Lotus Petal, sure. There's the Airborg. That's all we know about, I think. Necromancy gone. They have five cards in their library? Jeez. Portable hole seems good on this Baleful Strix, doesn't it? Trustpasser, huh? Huh. Actually, we should have discarded Trustpasser, played this, and then gotten the Trustpasser back. That was probably the correct play. Let's get rid of Torsten, I guess. That seems correct. I think it's just Baleful Strix here. Actually, it could be this Construct token. What does the emblem do? Whenever a creature you control does come down to a player, search library for a blue or black creature card put on the battlefield. <sighs> just go to the 4-4. He presents the most damage. Sure. We have nothing to get back, so I think we're just holding back here. They have 59 seconds on the clock. One, two, three. They have four, five, four, five, six, seven, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. So we can take four here. Dark Ritual. If we had one more mana, Dark Ritual is actually epic. Who would let us cast Odawara? Yep, there's a Kaito. They have the mana to do that? Now they do, but they don't have the time. Am I crazy? Dark Ritual doesn't do anything for us here, right? Okay. Huh. 
Okay. Oh, good games. Wow, this was a fucking... What a grind, dude. Jesus. Louise. Okay, let's take out Mother of Runes. Probably for... I wonder if Yawgmoth is any good here. I doubt it, right? Proliferate? What gets bigger with a Proliferate? Luminarch Aspirant. Teferi, Kaito, Dak. All right, let's try a Yawgmoth here. All right. Did not expect to be 2-0 with this deck, but here we are. I want to point out that Frank is 2-0 post the meatball blessing. The one true sandwich will always be a light in the darkness. Oh, dear. I, I owe everything I have to the meatball. I did it all for the meatball. So you can take that mayo and stick it up you. Stick it up you. Is that song too old? Do people not know that? That jam? And away we go. Our opponent is 1-0, so that does give us a little advantage. We're going to keep this for first turn, Gorger, second turn, Shredder. Pop a like. It's uh, real good. I know it, but I am, in fact, old. Same, buddy. Same. Oh, let's do this instead. Four, four, attacking for four on turn two. Love it. Love it. Don't like that. Should have protected. Get in there. All right. Well, Guardian Scaler does get Luminarch Aspirant back, which is kind of cool. Oh, swords. So you can take that cookie and stick it up your Wookiee. Really? We're just going to play that because any land next turn puts Guardian Scale Lord into the world. Oh, are they just going to reanimate that guy? Fantastic. Wonderful. Just wonderful. All right. Well. Hmm. So if we put a counter on this guy. And then he attacks for five. We still get Luminarch Aspirant back. I think we just put it on Ledger Shredder. No, this was a fear of mine, but I, oh, okay, cool. He survives. Yep. Yuppers. What did I tell you about yuppers? Yeesh. What is creature? Does the backup give flying? Backup one of this creature. Oh, man. 
For some reason, I'm like, oh, it just gives whenever this creature attacks. Oh, that's really good. Yeah, that would have been better. Death touch, huh? No, I don't like that. Don't be a land. Fantastic. So they'd be dead right now, right? If we just did the thing. So the, the zombies can attack. So it's 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 18. Like, we're not close to death here. Are we sure? If that's another creature, it gains the following abilities. Oh, yeah. Damn it. Yeah, giving the Flesh Scourger would have been pretty good. That's just an extra five damage. Corpse Dance. That doesn't do it. We just win with flyers. <laughs> The damage from this guy just was insurmountable. That's pretty good. Uh, unlicensed Hearse definitely coming in. Portable Hole is good because they have Animate Dead and tokens and things. So I'll bring that guy in as well. Take out the Yog, I think. I think we can take out the... Actually, I mean, this is good if we hit Flesh Gorger. That presumes Flesh Gorger dies. Yeah, we can take that out. Maybe we just leave Yogg in. Pay life, sack another creature, put an Agabon encounter on a creature, and draw a card. Proliferate seems decent with... I forgot we had subtlety in the deck. We just haven't seen it for a while. That means it'll be in our opening hand. Like, we have all three of these Planeswalkers plus Aspirant. Uh, yeah, it's fine without. Um... I don't hate this. Any white source is really good. Let's us play two things. Sure, we'll keep this. Any black source lets us go turn two flesh gorger. Uh, now we're just going to cast hearse on turn one. Sure, that seems good. Fantastic. And we have lost the flip and didn't draw another land. I guess we'll just play Shredder here. Yep. Keep in mind that we have 16 lands and a mana crypt, so this is kind of like drawing two lands. Land. Oh boy, we're doing good. Let's play Concealing Curtains, huh? Man, lands would be sweet. It's nice getting excited about hands with mana crypt and then you get unexcited uh, when you, you know, don't get additional lands. So 
Flame Tongue Kavu doing the, doing the Lord's work here. Tails, winning again. All right, we're still alive. Underground Sea, like it. Probably just blocking here. I don't really want to take seven when we're at 11. Yeah, this hand ended up being pretty rough with no... Uh... I mean, we have to assume they have corpse dance, right? Which they can do now, which is fine. Necromancy at instant speed. Sure. I mean, we kind of knew, right? Yeah. Yep. I mean, like, even keeping that up, we would have hit Dark Ritual, and, like, we just don't have anything to really take advantage of it with. If death was reanimate, we'd be playing it, unfortunately. Yeah, okay. This is pretty decent. Oh, they mulligan to six, and we get to time or uh, mind twist them next turn? Let's do that. Let's hit a dark ritual and then just mind twist their whole hand. Nice. Hmm. Yeah, I think we have to mind twist them here and just kind of cross our fingers. Bowmaster Kavu Mountain. That feels okay. Won the flip. Feeling good. <sighs> Volcanic Island is nice. Four five is nice. It dodges a bunch of four damage removal. I'm okay with that. Blue source. Oh, fairy mastermind. Okay. Well. Let's put it on you this time. keeping Fairy Mastermind up in case they want to do anything. Finally lost a flip, huh? Okay. Put a counter on this guy. Got them all out of one toughness range. All right. Do we just win? I would have loved a blue source here so we could keep up subtlety but I'll keep up Baleful Master I guess and hope that gets the job done 
Oh man, wow, 3-0. I did not expect a 3-0 at this deck, but here we are, not too bad. Thank you guys for watching, really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Be sure to uh, follow and subscribe on Twitch if you have the opportunity, head on over there. You get a free sub every month with Twitch Prime. And uh, thanks for watching guys, I'll see you later.